Ah. Sometimes you fall in life and you get back up. Ah. Okay, I need a break. What's up everybody? My name is Kai with FitKit Studio. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today we are here at First Ascent in Humboldt Park and it's a climbing gym. Look at this space, it's massive. So we're gonna take a quick tour around the space. We're probably gonna do a bit of climbing. And this is actually the first time that I have ever been at like a climbing gym. I never thought I would have this much fun in a climbing gym. So of course, safety is paramount. You're gonna have to sign a waiver, as expected. Create new account. All right, this part is going to be boring. I'm always iffy about typing my passwords in, so I always have a, a backup bad password that I use for public places like this. And that's a good tip, just for internet security, if anyone wants to know. Add a child. Nope, no kids for me. <laughs> Sign, check the box. Let's do this. Hold on, it's loading. Nice. Waiver approved. So this is Jordan, he's the manager of this location and he's gonna walk us through what a typical orientation looks like. Yeah, so we would start out with shoes. Nice and snug. It's very snug. Yeah, look, if it's too much, especially oh. if you've never wore these shoes before, it's going to be a lot at first. Yeah. Go up another size, another half size. A little better? Yeah, way better. Cool. I still get the tightness. Yeah. But it's yeah. not yep. overwhelmingly tight. So you can, the name of the game is you follow one color from the bottom to the top. You start with your hands on the tagged holds, and then you climb to the finish tag. So we'll go over a quick little fall technique. What you're going to want to do is, is step one, pick a spot on the ground. You're going to land on your feet, bend your knees, tuck your arm, fall to your butt, and into your back. Need a little demo or? Yeah, yeah uh, go right. for it. I'm just so excited for this. I haven't climbed since elementary school. Okay. All right, this is the scary part. Yeah, yeah nice yeah. job. Yeah, Good. that was beautiful. Oh, sick. So that's basically our little safety orientation. Thank you so much. And uh, Jordan does a lot of 3D modeling, 3D printing. Actually, 3D you know, art. 3D <laughs> yeah, art. yeah, yeah, 3D art, VFX, printed work, stickers, animations, all that sort of thing. It's Mr. 3D Jordan on Instagram. Um, yeah, I picked up a couple of his stickers. They look dope. <laughs> Sweet, man. Thank you. Yep. This pretty wall right here is known as the moon board. And it, there's an app called Moon Climbing, and it's globally accessed um, from people all across the world with this same set of holds um, and you can design and build your own route inside of the app. That's really cool. That's really is that is that free to use, the yep. moon? Yep. Wow. Yep. Moon board is free. Moon. Um, this is a canvas board right here, training campusing, which is climbing without your feet. And this is a half inch, that's one inch, and then that's a two inch. And, and the goal is to get to the top? Correct, without using your feet. So, and it's, it's measured, so you see there's numbers on them. How far can you reach? snap or, this is the scatter wall it exactly has it sounds it's just a scattering of holds there's a lot of bad holds in this. there is good holds mixed into it what would you consider a good hold out of this one you can get all your fingers on ah can, yeah yeah okay um, bad hold looks like this <laughs> can't really grab it we reset the gym every week so every week a new section gets set. Every six weeks there's a new gym. Wow, new gym. that's interesting. So yeah. if I come back six weeks from now, everything's gonna be different. Yep, every route would be different, so. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, okay, let's check out the space. I think, should I warm up? I should probably do some stretches, right, before I start this. Let's check out their weight room real quick, yeah? The weight room is kind of a side attachment to this whole huge climbing gym. You could go pretty heavy here. They even have 35s. Can always do a quick warm up. Ooh, and then they got some stretching equipment, which I'm gonna use right now, because I don't want to be tight. This seems like a high stakes situation. Oh yeah. Am I using this right, Lou? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that feels good. Actually, that feels really good. I need one of these. Oh, wow. I'm curious to see if I can even get up to the top. Oh, wow, this is... How the hell does anyone do this? That's ridiculous. It's like all fingertips. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. That's harder than I thought. Not without. That is much harder than it. Let's move on. Moving on. Old stuff. I think the angle though. You know, maybe I should start at an easier wall. Sometimes I like to jump into things. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea. Nope. Superhero landing. You know, I think we should start at an easier wall. Yeah, let's do that. I was wondering why nobody was at this side. It's because it's fucking hard. What's the beginner level? Just the yellow routes are our beginner routes. We're gonna stick with the yellow routes. Out. And on the start. And then. Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, I got this. Keep oh, that's a good hold. Oh, yes. Oh, I can do this. Oh, wow. Oh, this is scary. Oh, that was scary. First try, made it to the top. I'm proud of myself for that. We can go home. Let's talk brand. First of all, First Ascent has a great name, both conceptually and literally in line with their primary service offering. Their logo is a combination of a one and an arrow pointing up, which is very simple and memorable. In terms of a mark, yeah, it does its job. I would say it lacks a bit of personality and uniqueness because it's a bit plain. But they do utilize repetition well with the brand colors, typography, and graphic language all being consistent. The one thing I am curious about is they seem to have different color schemes for each location. Which, if that's the palette, then it would be an increasingly growing color scheme as each new location pops up. Which is not very ideal for a gym with so many colors already. I would like to see some verbiage, some language, some unique copywriting, and some interesting ways to use the graphic language. Overall, in terms of branding, not bad. This is so much easier after you've lost weight. Yeah. Yeah, finished. That counts, I think that counts. I like the little logo here. Very nice use of the repetition. Let's try a harder yellow. Yeah, I've gotta say, this gym is, it's very aesthetically pleasing. The colors all match really well. And in the sun, it looks gorgeous. That is not a beginner. There's no way. I don't believe it. You really need a lot of like grip strength. I think that's the thing I don't really have. I don't work my forearms very much. But also, I'm sure there's a lot of technique to this that I just don't really know. What's up, man? It's good. I made it up this yellow one and that yellow one. Try doing this V1. I don't know how this one's V1, man. This one's so hard. <laughs> breath. Okay. Projecting. Breathe. And don't hold my breath. Yeah. So you have a lot of. Uh, Good coaching here. They definitely walk you through a lot of stuff. If you're a beginner, uh, intermediate, advanced, this is definitely a place for anyone that wants to climb. And I think that's the cool part about climbing gyms in general. They're all very open with their experience. Anyone can come and enjoy themselves. Like this is a lot of fun. I have no idea how to climb, as you can see, but a lot of fun. Rejected, rejected. Made it to the top. Finish. Subscribe, like, comment for reaching the top. Please. Don't do it. I'm gonna fall. So do it now. I'll give you a few more seconds. <laughs> nope, that does not look fun. Sheesh. Oh. Yep, that's definitely a bit harder. Definitely a bit harder. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. No! Oh, oh. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got this. Oh. 
Yes. Yes. Oh God. Like yeah, this happens all the time. Thanks for watching. It's Kai with Fitkit Studio. Yeah.